Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm your rabbit. We're staring at the back of an R33 Skyline cop car on a VDC stirrups. We're going to be taking a look at this car here for a spotlight. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All that you found in the description box below. So we are taking a look at this R33 Skyline given to me by he's known as Worlds in the Assetto Corsa community. So a big thank you to him for giving me access to this R33. This car is aggressive and definitely like the whole missing rear bumpers and everything like that. So before we go into driving this car, credit where credit is due. It is a RB30 3.4 liter PMP special design custom billet crank forged pistons i mean connecting rods vdc physics by chris so it does say there's extra extensions for removing the bonnet and changing the spoiler a lot of this car a lot of the parts on this car were from acm so um that is so cool and i need to figure out how to do that and then yeah okay all right man uh we must i must figure out how you do this because can we drive it that way we can uh, well, we're gonna drive it like this just because that looks sweet. You need to figure out how this man did that. So this car, really aggressive, really loud. Uh, all the turbo flutters. We're probably gonna put the hood back on. Nah, nah, we'll leave the hood off. All right, so VDC stirrups. We got the wheel cam and everything turned on. Not sure what gears we're gonna be running. This is a basic tune. Let's see what we can do. Kind of let's just slow roll that in at first. I get the third, okay. Definitely needs to stay up in the high revs. This car just likes a red line bank, I'm noticing. So this is a very aggressive car. Um, which one of my gives us all our parameters back, I'm noticing, from the spawning of removing the hood and stuff like that. All right, so fourth gear, third gear. Let's see if we can't get another full run here. Then we'll go in first. Start in second gear rollout. Since that boost kicks in, this car is a monster. Not shift way too early. Probably should have stayed in fourth, but I liked it. Banging off red line. This car is so aggressive, so big thank you to him for giving me access to this car. So now let's go. Oh boy. Yep. Definitely do like all the carbon on the interior. Definitely a very clean carbon setup. Link ECU right there. And uh, of course, button box and everything. And then there, got a Papadakis uh, AEM cluster going on in here. Window banner is a little bit low, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Can't tell where we are on that wall, but oh, we were close to that wall, that's for sure. So, we're gonna give that another good full send because that was actually uh, quite a good run. I'll lighten up the camera a little bit for you. Okay, I'm having a little bit of issues trying to focus today. All right, let's see what we can do. Got this. Oh, not sure where we were there. A little bit of a hesitation. Just assassinating the red line in this car. 
So let's go take a look at that replay of that last run because I kind of want to see where I was at. Of course, we don't have good cameras, so we're going to have to just do it by the box cam. This was in our last run, I believe. So halfway decent through the zones. Nothing major crazy. Little cut there. This is where I kind of want to see where I was at. We're pretty deep in the wall. A little bit offline. Nothing too crazy. But for not knowing how this car drives it, this car is loud. It just assaults that red line. So we're going to switch up tracks and take a look at it on another track. So I'll catch you guys more on grid. So quickly becoming one of my favorite tracks, Orlando Speed World. Obviously, I used to do Urbandale, but we're here on Orlando. We're going to run it on the bass tune that he has implemented on this car. And we're going to see if how that handles. Handbrake is instant lockup. Not sure what gear we're going to be running here at OSW, but uh, I'm anticipating fourth. All right, let's see what we can do. Get my C off the bank. Oh, with that window banner, that's hard. Once we get in the crease, we are pretty good. So we're going to run this in third so we can actually see how close we are to the wall on this run. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. from the description box below. Big thank you to Worlds for giving me access to this aggressive R33. And a big thank you once again for you guys coming and watching another video here on the channel. Fourth gear hit. Oh, really slow roll. Probably should adjust the gear ratio, but we're winging the wall. That's good. Kind of just laying it in that crease, though. All right, we got to try and get that entry down. We need to make sure our boost is all the way up. It is. Okay. But we need to have a good entry in. Fourth gear is where we need to be, but... I want to try and get a good solid entry. Maybe we need to try a hard clutch kick handbrake entry. One final run here for today. Oh, too much. Way too much. So that's going to do it here for this episode. Here on a set of courses, once again, a big thank you to Worlds for giving me access to this aggressive R33. If you guys want to see more of these driver spotlights and car spotlights, let me know down in the comments section down below. You guys got a car you maybe want to be featured here on the channel hit me up on instagram and or on discord and we can uh, maybe make it possible so as always i uh, thank you guys for coming back and watching i'm evil rabbit i'm just destroying this dude's car i'll see you guys on the track oh i thought i would get away without hitting the cone